Hey there. Well, I just watched The Acolyte Episode 6, and it just keeps getting more disappointing. What happened to Jedi's sensing people through the Force? Sol doesn't know that Osha and May traded places, so to speak. Well, not even so to speak, they, they traded places. And what a stupid plot twist to begin with. USB ports in the Star Wars universe? In the previous episode, the Sith killed a whole bunch of Jedis. And now you, Osha, with a fraction of the training of those Jedis, think you're going to kill him with a knife? And now you're going to steal his lightsaber as if you have a chance of doing anything? O Osha's character is just so lame. She's just not likable. The more I see her say and do stupid things that don't really make much sense, the less I really care about what happens to her. Actually, both Osha and May are poorly written characters. And Sol, still later in the episode, still doesn't recognize that it's May. It's not, it's not Osha. Even when he gives May a big hug, oh, I'm so glad, and May just kind of stands there like, like Biden. I don't know, eventually he figures it out, but sheesh. Osha is kind of like Scrappy-Doo, to be honest. She's the Dunning-Kruger effect in action. The dialogue between Osha and Sith doesn't flow very well. It's not very believable. And the ways that Sith making himself that vulnerable didn't make much sense either. Like, like he, he just knows for sure that she's not going to do something. When, when he just gave her the, uh, the opportunity to kill him, he just knows? I don't know. It, I... God, her character is just awful. The lady with the green skin and some other guy from the base who were investigating about the Jedi carnage on that other planet in the forest, they were able to find the hidden spot in the forest instantly, even though everyone else required some sort of a guide or that character that sniffs everything. You know, in order to find it. I mean, yeah, Osha is now being introduced to the dark side of the Force, but how far will that go? And that's really the only thing that, that has me staying curious about the series. You know, how, how is this going to go? Are, in this action of them trading places, is, is, are both of those characters going to have a character arc? Who knows? This, is, this has been so badly written, there, there's no way to know whether there, there's going to be any decent resolve that's satisfying in any way. So, yeah, I give this a 3 out of 10. Making my rating of the show overall a 4. It started with promise, but it just kept getting worse. Anyway.